Let's give a big MVP a welcome to Brooklyn Nets starting point guard Spencer Dinwiddie. Throughout the 2017-2018 season, Brooklyn Nets point guard Spencer Dinwiddie has hit some clutch shots. Dinwiddie on a switch. He's got Gibson. Dinwiddie makes his move. Dinwiddie fades. Oh, Spencer Dinwiddie! Splash! Clear it for Dinwiddie. Five on the timer. Dinwiddie lines it up. Yes! But arguably none bigger than his game winner in Motown. Harris gets it to Dinwiddie. Three seconds, two seconds, steps, fires. Oh, it's good! Spencer Dinwiddie, Dinwiddie. buries it with .9 on the clock. Spencer Dinwiddie, that's a game winner. Dinwiddie's shot lifted the Nets to a January road win over the Detroit Pistons, the team that drafted the former University of Colorado star and then cut him. Oh, it was definitely sweet. You know, uh, a lot was made about it. I, mean, I kind of downplayed it um, until pretty much right at the, at the last interview that I had that night and just kind of said, you know, how would you feel? I mean, yeah, it, it was sweet, man. Dinwiddie was also cut by his next team, the Chicago Bulls, and currently plays for the Nets on a non-guaranteed contract. His hunger and focus was apparent before this season even started. How could I relax? How could I not have that hunger? You know what I'm saying? The moment I go into the gym and I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll let Jalen beat me today, right? That could be my last day. Playing like it's his last day has bode well for the fourth year guard. He's averaging career highs in points, rebounds, and assists, and was in consideration by some for a spot on the Eastern Conference All-Star roster. So I caught up with the point guard to ask him about his breakout season. What has this year been like for so far? Um, it, it's been special, man. You know, uh, seeing kind of a culmination of all the hard work and being able to actually put it on the floor. Um, we actually spoke before the season and, and we weren't sure what my role would be and so to be able to play uh, in this fashion has been special. Special is just one of the words some may use to describe Dinwiddie's play this season. Sports journalist Brian Fonseca, who covers the Brooklyn Nets for NetsDaily.com, says Dinwiddie's rise has been unexpected. Jeremy Lin goes down, D'Angelo Russell goes down, Spencer Dinwiddie steps up and he stepped up even more than I thought he would this season, but that's not to say I didn't think he was capable of that. It was just, you know, it was impossible to foresee him just shooting out and becoming one of the NBA's most improved players this season. For Dinwiddie, success is more than just his play on the court. He has embraced living in New York City and has become sort of a folk hero for Nets fans this season. He has grown off the court as well, too. And one thing that is important to the Nets point guard is being able to give back to the community. The Nets guard teamed up with the National Basketball Players Association to host a youth basketball clinic in New York City. 50 children in attendance developed their skills with the Nets star engaging in station drills and half-court games. Ready? Go! I remember being in these kids, you know, and going to various camps when I was younger. I'm obviously never a player association camp, but, but similar camps. And, and if I had a chance to meet NBA players, it would have been a, a, a huge deal for me. So just coming here and being able to do some of that and hopefully putting a smile on some of these kids' faces is it's everything. While kids at the clinic dream of one day playing on the NBA hardwood like Dinwiddie, his story of being a second round pick cut by two NBA teams and playing in the G League before landing an opportunity in Brooklyn isn't common. However, it's a story he hopes can help to inspire. You know, I wasn't a number one pick. I didn't have, you know, the, the golden road from jump. Um, had to have perseverance, a work ethic to, to get to this point, to continue to be able to climb, and, and hopefully I'm still on the climb. And, and just so for, for every kid that, that's in this situation or has been in this situation or will go through this situation, I hope I can be a little bit of inspiration. Despite his recent success, the hunger for greatness still grows for Dinwiddie. It's not like I was an all-star, like we bought, you know what I'm saying, we're not the number one seed in the East, uh, haven't won an MVP, haven't won a championship, all these things. So, I mean, you know, there's, such, there's still such a road to go that, uh, I mean, for me to get complacent now, it, it'd be, it'd be so exciting. I don't know what his future is. Ideally, I mean, you know, he's risen to prominence, so to speak, in Brooklyn. So you would like to see that play out because it's just a great story. He found himself here, so to speak, and to see that continue, it will be great. Uh, now it's just a matter of whether or not it will happen. But one thing's for sure, he should get paid a lot by somebody 
in 2019. What do you want the legacy of Spencer Dinwiddie to be as an NBA player as, as you move forward? Somebody that never stopped, somebody that, you know, took everything that he had and, and was able to display it and was able to make the most out of every situation that, that he was presented with. And, and like I said, I, I, I don't want to stop. I want to push things as far as it can go.